Your birth uh, didn't go well. You were 10 and a half pounds, and you surely, the only reason on your, you're here on the face of this earth was because I wanted a girl. What would you think if I did start to call you by your first name? Mom says, maybe. Jean says, <laughs> that was Jean talking. Yeah. I was too young to remember my grandfather. He died when I was about five. But growing up, I always knew of him from all the detective stories. This is our family story. It is the story about my grandfather and his legacy. It is the story about a beat cop who made it big. Mr. Carr, I'm Detective Dinatale. And in the process, how he became the 14th victim of the Boston Strangle. Hey mom, it's Tyler. Well, I think I might be qualified for the Olympics. So everything was building perfectly. I was using this past season as a blueprint for success for the Olympics. It was there, you know, I was getting the results early in the season. I had a fifth and then a seventh, uh, two top tens in my PGS uh, races, going into world championships, feeling strong. And I was peaked for the race I wanted to be peaked for, qualified fifth at world championships. Everything was on track. And um, I barged just by a hair. I pulled too early and everything came to a screeching halt. All right, guys, here's the deal. People are gonna line up at the corrals. They're gonna walk along the front of that tent pick one of these 10 graphics. Order takers, you guys are gonna circle that graphic on the ticket, give them the ticket in their hand. They're then gonna come through and pick size and color. Well, I'll make sure they get that part right. It's gonna come around to the front where the orders will be taken and assembled by you two guys. Make sure you're having them, telling them that they can customize where the placement of this graphic is on the shirt. Hand it to the press operators and give them their shirt, we got a happy customer. How do we feel about a free t-shirt?